Hey guys, welcome to Kayla's Crafts, where the other day I was at my local pet store and I saw a couple of cool fish. So today I'm going to be doing aquarium inspired drawings. As you can already see, I started out with this cool type of goldfish that I saw there called the bubble eye goldfish. So when after looking at the goldfish, I was very inspired by their huge bulbous cheeks and I wanted to really try to capture that. So in this drawing you can see it's a girl whose cheeks are kind of puffed up. I didn't get them as puffed up as I'd like to, but blowing a whole bunch of bubbles because, of course, inspired by the name, it's a bubble eye goldfish. Now this one compared to the other ones I think is the most colorful. Now while the other ones were mostly focused around one or two colors, this one was focused around three. So the colors that I incorporated was yellow, orange and of course blue to get the underwater feeling i think if i were to do something different i might have made the background orange instead of blue but i think that it has a nice contrast with her skin but as i can as you will see in the other couple of faces i did them a lot darker and the color actually represents the fish that i did the drawing inspired by so, yeah, after doing this, something that I realized is I really need to work on my hands because while I kind of used to be good at them, I've been kind of lacking a little bit and it looks really, really awkward if I'm being completely honest. But let me get back to the actual drawing at hand. As you can see right now, I'm filling in these bubbles and I'm kind of proud of these and the tactic that I used, I put down this little anti-wax and just to keep the photos white so it would be very pristine when I pulled them off. As you can see, I'm pulling them off right here and now you can start to see the short, the sort of shine effect that it gave it. So, yeah. I finished up this drawing by going over it with a layer of just plain colored pencils just to get the kind of detail that I wanted to that I didn't that I personally am not able to get with watercolor so just little details like giving her eyelashes adding details to the eyebrows and hair and making the nail sharper at the very So this drawing is almost finished and I'll show you the finished drawing at the end but for now let's move on to the next fish which is the Sunburst Tetra. So for this one which is different than the last one that I did, I really wanted to be focused on one color. So during this whole drawing I tried to focus on the bright magenta that the neon tetras not neon sunburst tetras had and you can kind of see it in the background and her lips and the bright light that's on the left side of her body i really tried to bring in the magenta in a lot of ways one of which is the background where i tried to get sunbursts incorporated through kind of sunburst rays through the back of her head now if you don't know what a sunburst is it's where a sun appears behind a cloud and creates like the visual of lights across the sky which is very pretty. I suggest looking it up if you want to see that. So yeah, something that I didn't really know before this part is that this was my first time using watercolor pencils and this was the first drawing that I did out of the set of three and I think I'm very proud of how it looks. I didn't really expect it to look this good using a new medium, but overall, I think I did pretty good. I think if I had to do something more just based on the pencils itself, I would have used a different brush and maybe made sure that I used the same, when I was mixing, like using the magenta and the brown, I wish I would have done the same amount like all over her body so it made such 
a more clear coat because it was hard to push colors to try to make them look kind of seamless where you put the where you put the pencil down that's kind of where the color stayed so that was my only critique but that's more just self-based like the last one I finished up the drawing by going over with a layer of colored pencils and I really focused on the lips the eyes and kind of defining the shadow on her left side to bring in more of the magenta that had kind of been lost after going over with the paintbrush. So yeah, you can kind of see me shading it over here. And I also filled in her left side where I wanted more definition on the shadow on that side. So yeah, and that's about it. Again, like the last one, I'll be showing you the finished products at the very end of the video. But for now, let's move on to the next drawing. But for now, let's move on to the final and personally my favorite drawing, the one of the angelfish. So for this one, I focused on two colors, the yellow and the blue to make it feel very heavenly, very not on earth, but yeah. This is the one that I'm most proud of. I love the expression on her face that I gave her. It looks. I love the way that she kind of looks at the viewer and I also just kind of like the detail that I used. This was the third one that I did so I was kind of used to, used to the colored pencils by now and I think I learned how to make them look the best. I was able to get deep dark shadows where her shoulder is and under her chin. And I think that it really pays off for the better because it just kind of adds depth and makes the lights even lighter and the mediums not as dull. So something else that I did, I decided to give her a head wrap, which I just think looks very pretty on her. And just in general, I was kind of proud by how the ending of that looks. I didn't expect it to actually look very good. I wasn't really good with like doing ripples or anything like that or wrinkles in the fabric but I think that they actually turned out pretty good as you can see. Another thing that I think I learned from the first two drawings is that I really need to use a much bigger brush. Now in this one I did use a much bigger brush and I think that it worked out so much better. I was able to get huge swatches done without having to constantly dip it in, even with the small pen that ha that kind of has water flowing out. I think it's called like a pento brush, I'm not really sure, but it just works so much better with a larger brush, even though because of the point I'm able to get the detail, but I'm not constantly having to go back and forth, and it just makes it a lot easier to get a smooth wash. And just a lot better in general I wish I would have had it done it on the first couple of drawings but besides that I finished it I finished this one up like any other just going over with colored pencils before I finally finished I don't really have a lot left to say about this drawing or any of these drawings but in general I'm very proud about how all of them turned out especially this last one and I will definitely be using these watercolor pencils in the future so here are the finished products but I want to ask you which one is your favorite did you like the bubble eye goldfish the sunburst tetra or the angelfish liked me and do you think that these were too loosely inspired or do you think they were just right? Stay tuned and keep watching Kayla's Crafts.